now have Jennifer and Ann Wilson live with us. She is giving us a first look inside an autonomous shuttle. Jen, I have to know, how was it? Was it scary? It wasn't scary at all. It, the ride was so smooth, I almost forgot I was in an autonomous vehicle, but the vehicle itself is beautiful. We'll give you a peek, but before we do, I want you to take a look at this. I'm right now in the nerve center. They call this base. This map right here is a map of the one mile, approximately one mile route. You can see the green blinking dots. Those are the stops for people to hop onto the shuttles. And the white boxes with the writing, those are drivers in different shuttles. Um, oh, it looks like a uh, major's moving. Major might be stopped at a red light. And you know how we can double check? whether or not major stops at a red light. They've got all of the stoplights right here. How cool is that? Wouldn't you love to tap into that, right? Also, each one of these shuttles has a camera, so you can see exactly what the driver is seeing. So not only do you have an attendant in the vehicle, but there's also somebody back here at May Mobility helping monitor and keep track of things. And I'm standing next to Kevin from Bedrock, partnering with May Mobility. This is Allison with May Mobility. What an exciting day to announce an official launch for the first ever. Tell us a little bit about what this experience is gonna be like. So we're very excited to launch the first uh commuter shuttle that is self-driving and we're doing it here in the Motor City uh, which is awesome and we're we're very happy to start pulling uh, bedrock employees into the vehicle starting tomorrow and uh, to be a part of the overall transportation fabric of the city. Yeah, this is exciting. On Facebook Live, we had a lot of people uh, coming along on the ride with us asking how they would get to ride. But right now, it's for your employees, and so they really need to apply to a bedrock company, right? That's right. You know, the family of companies, uh, Quicken, Bedrock, and others are always looking to bring incredible people downtown. But at launch, starting tomorrow at 5 a.m., it'll just be for folks internal to the organization. Long term, we could see this being deployed in other uh, opportunities for the city. In a lot of ways, one of the interesting things to me about just riding in that shuttle was the experience. And I know that was something very at the forefront of your mind, creating a user experience, that beautiful skylight. And the attendant, him or herself, is a big part of this project as well. Yeah, we think that this is a great opportunity working on things like commuter shuttles to allow people to come in and learn and understand the experience that they can have in self-driving vehicles. We think that's important to help build trust and awareness. So that way this can play a bigger part in everyone's overall transportation in the future. Okay, speaking of trust and awareness, of course, a lot of people get really nervous when you talk about autonomous vehicles. Maybe the idea is cool, but they're not getting in one. So can you talk a little bit about the safety elements and the, the backups that you have here? Yeah, so with our vehicle, we actually pulled engineers that come from the auto industry. So they have that expertise in safety and reliability. And we brought them into work on our system. We have triple redundancy around the sides and back of the vehicle. So that means anything that's around the side or back, we can see three different ways. And towards the front, we can actually see five different ways, which is more than any of us with two, two eyes and some and two ears. Yeah, and I know I felt very comfortable and safe in it. And then there's the attendant there with that emergency break. So thank you so much, and thank you so much. What an exciting partnership. I need to toss back to Anne-Marie, but I tell you what, Anne-Marie, I am begging Allison to try to hook us up with something with these uh, traffic lights next. Right. <laughs> Maybe a little control, make them all green right when we're ready. We're ready for that. That is fascinating. Jen, thanks so much for that inside look. Yeah.